Hey, what's going on today, guys? So today we're gonna go ahead and uh, clone the Wonderland front end. Um, we're gonna pull the front end from GitHub. This is gonna be part one. All right. So going to Wonderland front end GitHub. We're gonna go into the GitHub. A little, little bit real fast on what Wonderland looks like and what it is. It's like a very successful um, rebasing Olympus DAO fork. Um, you know we did the uh, the Olympus DAO front end clone already. So you guys can check that video out if you have any questions on that. Um, so right here... This is where it is right now. Um, I have another video too on why like this is a lot more bullish a chart than it seems, but uh, it's it's probably like my favorite. It's definitely a hundred percent my favorite DAO um, out of like any, even Olympus. I like Wonderland more personally um, for various reasons, but yeah, it's just been a, a super successful project. Um, Avalanche I think is an awesome ecosystem to launch any sort of DAO in. So without further ado, um, let's let's get into this. So we're going to start off, we're going to make sure we have like node version 14, we're going to get yarn and we're going to get git. So all you have to do is uh, simply open all these in new tabs, you can just go in, you can download uh, this version right here, assuming you're on a Windows machine. Um, you can go in and use npm to install. Uh, your yarn here with npm install global yarn then uh, git you can go and uh, just go ahead and download it here windows um, again I'm assuming you guys are on a windows machine I hope you are for the sake of following along here um, anyway uh, once you have those downloaded you can run uh, like node minus v to check out your version or you could do uh, yarn dash dash version to check out your version on yarn. So those are the ones that I'm running right now. Uh, hopefully you guys get like close to the same or whatever. Make sure that our instances running on the machine are the same so you guys can have success. Um, okay, cool. So now we're, we're, we're cloning. Um, so I've just copy and pasted this, this code, all of it clicking this and then pasting it here and running it and that's going to run each line um, one after the other which is pretty cool so it's ran uh, you could also do line by line if you want to type it out or whatnot um, but it's ran uh, git clone and it's pulled the front end package from github it's made a directory folder wonderland front end in the second line there uh, so I can I can see that here now um, it's installed yarn and then it's uh, basically lined me up for npm run start so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run uh, this command basically for yarn yarn's been uh, downloaded but for some reason I was running into a lot of compiler errors with something called prettier slash prettier which is like a formatting for yarn so we want to run yarn uh, let's see yarn run lint dash dash fix and this is gonna take a second but this is gonna make sure that our yarn like version we're running is the correct one and that everything's gonna go smoothly um, I highly recommend doing this look 11 seconds it's not much longer to wait um, so then we run npm run start cool All right, now uh, we're gonna have to wait a bit. Just want to take this time to say, if you guys are planning on doing your own own fork or you know anything of that nature, definitely take the time to understand everything. Uh, make sure everything's super secure. I highly recommend using like a Ledger Nano X uh, to have the wallet that you like launch with, um, or even a Trezor. I'll put links down to those below if you want to check them out. Um, and I have another video I'll link that uh, basically talks about different kinds of wallets and how to maintain security. And just like all the exploits and rug pulls we've had lately. 
Um, I just feel like security is paramount right now. Uh, so I'm going to sign into my wallet here on MetaMask. If you notice, this doesn't take you to the landing page. It takes you straight to the app. So you'd have to make your own landing page, of course. Um, which, you know, this is pretty much like the, the stuff right here that you want. Um, one thing that's kind of funny is the mint discount is like available for the time in AVAX LP here for like 440%. So uh, you can actually come here and mint for 609 on Wonderland if you want. Um, there's nothing stopping you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's the the back end contracts like don't let you. Uh, it throws like a safe math error, which uh, I'm not saying I, I, I'm I tried for the right reasons. Okay. Um, and then, uh, yeah, pretty much here, once you're in here, similar to how we were doing it with Olympus in the other video, you can start to play around here, you can start to play around in the files, get to, like, read everything, uh, just start understanding these things, you know, like, taking all these individual files into VS Code and reading through them, and really getting to know how this is actually working as a front end, and how it's not only doing that, but it's, like, being able to, like, you know, ping your MetaMask and, like, work with Web3 and actually give you permissions to do things. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is its whole rabbit hole, you know, Wonderland, rabbit hole, time, all of it kind of fits in a narrative. So I've opened the gates for you guys, all right? And uh, uh, I will have a part two coming out soon. A goal of mine is to reach a 1,000 subs. So I think once I hit a 1,000 subs, I'll be... Coming out with the part two for Olympus Dow video. Um, and other than that, you know, feel free to drop a like or subscribe. That will really help me get going quicker here, too. Um, and if you feel so inclined, support me on Patreon. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And keep going, frogs. We're all going to make it. All right? That's really the, the attitude at the end of the day. Peace out.